What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And we're here today to talk about how men need to start dating higher quality women. I'll be paying attention to like a lot of the comments, a lot of the questions that I get sometimes through my podcast or through the YouTube. And a lot of it goes back to the same thing. Y'all need to start dating high quality women, okay? Y'all be out here dating these hood rats, you know what I'm saying? These ratchet Rhodesias, this um, spoiled milk, the leftover lo mein, the refried beans. And for those of y'all who don't know, I call it spoiled milk, ratchet white women. Refried beans is ratchet Hispanic women, and leftover lo mein is ratchet Asian women. But my point here is, you guys date the lowest quality women of every single bracket and then you come and you got all these problems it's like oh alex how come she's not responding to my text or alex how come she flaked on me or alex how come she just stopped texting it's because she's a low value woman listen let me explain something to you especially if you're not a low value man women know where they stand okay they might play dumb like they don't know what's going on they're very aware of sexual market values and they know where they stand guys so if you would do let's say you would do you make like 50 to 100 thousand dollars right and you go get you some Ratchet Rhodesia Trailer Park Tracy who worked at McDonald's or Walmart or Target, right? As soon as she realizes what you do, her first instinct in her brain is going to say, well, why the hell are you even talking to me? Something must be off because I'm way lower than you. If you're talking to me, it should be on some, I met you in the club or I met you on vacation and I'm trying to smash. You can't wife a thought box. Thought boxes know that they're thought boxes. That's what you guys don't get. So in her head, she's not going to look at herself. She's going to look at you. And she's going to feel like I must be doing you a favor because you basically must not have no hoes because you're talking to me. So then that's when she's going to start playing games with you. That's when she's going to show interest. Then she's going to not show interest. Then you say one thing she don't like and she says, never mind. And she's going to play with you. And the reason she's going to play with you is because she's going to figure if you're dealing with me and I'm a low value woman, you must have time to play. A lot of the things y'all complain about goes away literally just from dating a higher value woman. Think about flaking. If a woman is a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, um, a attorney, I mean, not an attorney, accountant, any type of high profile job, right? She don't got time to play neither. Her time is going to be valuable just like yours. So if you set a date for Saturday at 8 p.m. to go have some drinks or whatever, she's going to show up because her time's valuable. That means she actually is interested in you because she made the time to go on this date with you. This woman worked 50, 60 hours a week. She's probably tired, but she made the effort to go out with you. She's gonna show up. You don't have to worry about flaking. And if she doesn't show up, she's gonna text you and say, hey, I can't make it because she figured she ain't gonna talk to you if you're not doing nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So she figured your time's just as valuable as her. So she's gonna apologize for not showing up. You mess with Ratchet, Rhodesia, like I said, leftover low main road, refried beans, all those low value women, they don't value their own time because they have plenty of it. They go to work, they come home, they put their feet up on the couch, smelling like corn nuts, watching Moesha, Mo to the, E to the, they have nothing to do. So because they don't value their time, they're not gonna value your time because in their head, if you was a busy person, if you was like that, if you was really lit like that, why would you even be talking to me? And that's what you guys don't get. That's when you start to get the flaking and that's when you start to get the playing games. Now, I understand it's two reasons why y'all mess with low value women. One, they're free and y'all don't like paying for everything. Y'all call everything pain simping. Oh, you're simping. I don't gotta take these. I get my women for free. But they're not really free because the only way you're getting, first of all, no high value woman is gonna deal with you if you don't take her on a date. They can't do that. They're not wired that way. They have to test you. You gotta prove yourself, okay? So only low value women are even going to deal with you, especially on a sexual level, without some type of date. Right? And then y'all get happy. Y'all like, yeah, I didn't have to pay. But y'all don't consider you wasted hours talking on the phone to this girl every day. Hours trying to think of the right thing to text her to keep stringing her along. Hours. Every time she ain't text you back, you on YouTube looking up red pill videos. How come she ain't texting me back? Trying to work all these strategies. Two months, you get one piece of V-Box. And then you want to come back bragging like, oh, look, I ain't have to pay. Meanwhile, the dude who just taking high value women on dates. He done got five pieces of high quality V-Box. You done spent two months of your time playing games with some little ratchet Rodana. And you done wasted all this damn time for one piece of V-Box. Then you get that piece of V-Box and you're going to have to go through the same games to get another piece of V-Box. And even if you manage to keep this low value woman around, the games aren't going to stop. The longer she stays around, the worse they're going to get. Then she's going to start pushing you towards a relationship. If you give her this relationship, she's going to start going through your phone. Why is she going through your phone? Because she know her ass shouldn't be with you. Okay, if she sees anything in that phone that she don't like, she's going to start hitting you and whooping your ass. Why? Because she don't have nothing to lose. 
You don't have to worry about domestic violence with women with high profile jobs because they will lose their job if they get into trouble with the law. But with these women who work at Target, these women who work at McDonald's, you, these low value women don't have anything to lose. So they don't care. Then y'all start complaining about baby mamas. Oh, she getting pregnant on me. She getting pregnant on me. You don't have to worry about that with high value women. They don't want to get pregnant just like you don't want to get them pregnant because they have something to lose. If she work at Target and your ass is a financial advisor or your ass is an accountant or your ass is whatever, she wants to have your baby so she can sit on her fat ass with her feet up, smell like corn nuts, watching Moesha on your dime. And if you leave her, she's going to put you on child support. If you leave her and you married her, she's going to put you on alimony. Again, things you don't have to worry about with a high value woman because she doesn't need your money. So she's not going to trap you with a baby. And if y'all do get married and y'all break up, she's just going to let you go. She's going to let you go. She probably wouldn't even be able to get out of the money because she might make more than you or y'all make about the same amount. And this is what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. A lot of y'all problems with women come from yourself. Okay, you guys low-key be having low self-esteem, so you deal with these low-value women. Or, like I said, I get it. You ain't got no money. You broke dating. So you deal with the women who basically aren't going to require you to pay them anything to deal with them. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is the back end of when you do that it's all the problems you complain about because the back end is the baby. The back end is the child support. The back end is the divorce. The back end is your tires getting popped. The back end is your windows getting busted open. That's, none of that happens with high value women. They don't have the time, guys, to play those types of games. <sighs> so if you really wanted those types of games to stop, the answer to getting those types of games to stop would be to stop dealing with women who have the time to play those types of games. Why y'all think... Low value women always say, I got time today. They have nothing but time. Y'all think they playing. They're dead serious. They're dead serious. Again, lawyers, doctors, nurses, actuaries, accountants, they don't have time to play. Okay? Trailer Park Tracy got all day. Ratchet Rhodesia has all day. They have nothing else to do. They're not invested in anything. They don't have any type of job where they're doing any real criminal background checks, none of that. So they can fight you, argue with you, do whatever. Bring their friends up to follow you around. Start dating higher value women. Now, again, I get it. The lower value women are going to give you the better sex. I'm not going to lie. They are. They're going to give you the better sex. They can suck a golf ball to a straw. And they can do all these tricks, but that's because they have to. That's all they can do. And I get it. A lot of high value women, they can be kind of boring. They talk about their career all the time, all this other stuff. But if you get them out of that shell, you know, and you're a man, you're supposed to lead anyway. Bring them out of that shell. Take them to do something fun and interesting. Take them to Axe Throne or take them to the gun range. You can turn them into a freak. Okay? You can teach lawyer Lisa how to suck a golf ball through a straw. Or if you're treating her the right way, she'll learn if that's what you like to do. But y'all don't want to do that. Y'all want to go to the girl who already know how to do that. You know how she learned how to do that? By doing it to thousands of other dudes before you came. And guess what all those thousands of other dudes did? They left. Okay, now I talked to you guys before about sexual transmission. Okay, so if a woman who's low value, she don't require no dates, you just got to be attractive to sleep with her, you're not going to, there's plenty of attractive men in the world. She's going to have a high body count, which means she's going to have a bunch of other dudes' DNA all up in her. Her brain's going to be like scrambled eggs and she's going to be masculine as hell. Okay? And this is going to lead to problems down the road. I'm telling you guys, you have to start stepping to higher value women. Pull them out of that shell. Pull them out of their little, oh, I just have my degree and that, that boring shit. Just pull them out of it. Give them a few drinks. They start to open up. They come out of that shell. They realize that they can be comfortable with you. And like I said, is she going to be as big of a freak as the bird? Of course she's not going to be as big of a freak as the low-value woman. But you can get her there with practice. With practice. Just like I keep telling you guys about these IG models. Y'all spend your whole life looking at these IG models. Make a bunch of money going to get the IG model. Then you, again, you complain about child support. You complain about alimony. You complain because she busting the windows out your car. But you're dealing with this low-value woman from IG who was getting shat on in Dubai by the sheiks and you couldn't wait to get your money up to give it to her. You should already know how that was gonna end. Guys, Rick Ross' baby mama just put them on child support. She was making $142 a month. That was her reported income. Now she's making 11,000. Now if Rick Ross would've got a lawyer pregnant, he wouldn't even be on child support. This is the thing that I'm trying to tell you. Y'all gotta stop thinking with y'all D's. That's why if you've never gone on semen retention before, I always say you guys need to go on semen retention so you can stop thinking with your D. Your D is going to get you in trouble, okay? All right? If a woman's making you take her on dates and do a lot of things to get with her and she don't have no kids and she has a good job, that means she's making other men do that. 
And most dudes, when a woman says, hey, I want to go do something, I want to stay in the house, and women will tell you this, he going to stop talking to her. So by default, because most dudes are broke and broke dating, her body count ain't that high. Which means she ain't as crazy. She ain't got no kids. You know what I'm saying? So she don't got all this DNA up in her brain making her scrambled eggs. She just regular. She grinding and she working like you. Get you a high value woman. I'm telling you, you're going to cut a lot of the toxicity out of your relationships just by doing that. Okay, and if your problem is you're intimidated because let's be honest, you don't got your stuff together, I'm going to tell you two other things before we roll. One, a high value woman, if you treat her right, will wait for you to get your stuff together or she'll support you in getting your stuff together. Okay, or two, do what I also tell you guys to do all the time. Again, go on retention. Don't worry about no females. Grind. Okay, so you can bring that high value woman up to the rooftop like I got here and y'all can chill out here and sip y'all wine. And you ain't got to worry about her trying to throw your phone off the rooftop because you were texting somebody else because she wouldn't even go through it. Okay, a lot of, like I said, dudes be the cause of their own problems a lot of the time. And it doesn't have to be that difficult, all right? I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.